Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my January book haul. That's not the way it goes. I have to wait till I get to the so if you guys did not see my book buying discussion and my TBR discussion, I'll link that down below for you guys. But in the like the second half of January and going into the rest of the year, I'm going to be a little bit more strict with my buying and I've kind of been playing around with that and I've been kind of like slowly easing into it. So I don't have too many books here to share. This is not all the books I bought in January because I didn't write it down, so I have no idea how many I bought, but I will share with you guys the ones I know of just because I know you guys really love book hauls. So let's get into it. This shirt has like no movement for me. Like I don't wear shirts like this. Like I f even forgot about it. Like in my closet, I was like, who are you? I'll wear you, okay. <laughs> but yeah, cute, funky, all right. The first two books I have here to show you guys are from a subscription box, which I got them from the Nocturnal Readers box. So if you don't wanna be spoiled for the Nocturnal Readers box books for January, just skip over this part. But the first book in the box was Hellhound by Ken Greenhall. This is about a sociopathic bull terrier. So, Cujo, but not Cujo. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know too much about this one. I kind of like going into these books kind of blind and like horror and thrillers. I kind of like going into them blind. So yes. And then this one I'm super excited about. This is, is Everything That's Underneath by Christy Demeester. And this book is just a horror short story collection. So the back says there's so much we can't see everything that's underneath hiding but it wants us to see, to pull it out from where it's sleeping and make it beautiful again. And I'm just super excited because the one, the cover, like I can't, look how pretty that is. And I love the back, it's so cool. So I'm super excited because the card from the box was saying how much they enjoyed it and I'm just excited to read it. And plus Paul Tremblay who wrote, Kind Worth Killing, no. A Head Full of Ghosts, which I haven't read yet, but I've heard it's really good. Um, he said a dark, intelligent, relentless collection. Cool. I'm excited about it. <laughs> then I did end up going to a thrift store and I picked up Blaze by Stephen King, which I've never seen around before. And I don't know much about this one, only that it was Stephen King. So I'm like, okay. Once upon a time, a fellow named Richard... Oh no, okay. That's, that's not it. Small time delinquent. Me? No, not really. Um, None too bright either, thanks to the beatings he got as a kid. Then Blaze met George Rackley, a seasoned pro with a hundred cons and one shut up phone. One big idea, the kidnapping should go off without a hitch. With George as the brains behind their dangerous scheme, there's only one problem. By the time the deal goes down, Blaze's partner in crime is dead. Or is he? Sounds weird. I really want that one that's discontinued. What is it, Rage or something? Yeah, I want that because it, it they, it's out of print, so like I want it. <laughs> so if anyone knows where I could get that, hit me up. But yes, I'm excited to read this one. Another king to my shelf, awesome. Also in that thrift store, I ended up finding this beautiful Poe edition, which I could not pass up, and that is this edition. Holy shit, just look at her, go, yes. And then like the inside is like the cobweb design. Look at that. And this is like the complete Tales and Poems collection. So awesome. I love having more collections of one of my favorite authors. So yes. And then while I was there, I did get another collection. So I got this one. This is the Modern Library Edition. So this is like the, this one is apparently for the murders in the Rue Morgue. And the spine's red, looks nice. Also I ended up getting Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Cornell. This book is, a white contemporary book and if you're like Julie don't you have that yeah it's right here but the paperback came out so the reason why I ended up getting the paperback was because I hope to reread this and annotate it because I loved it so much it was one of my favorite books of last year it deals with a girl who has agoraphobia and it's just so incredible this book does have some trigger warnings though for agoraphobia depression I think anxiety and I, yeah I'm pretty sure yeah anxiety and self-harm so keep that in mind but yes, I ended up purchasing the paperback copy because I wanted it for my shelves and I wanted to annotate it, so yes. So there you guys have it. Those are all the books that I'm going to be sharing today because I have no idea what else I bought and like some of it I showed in vlogs, so it's like, I don't know. I don't know what you've seen, what you haven't seen. So that's all I'm gonna show you guys today, but thank you so much for watching. If you, I'm, I am gonna be doing book hauls and I'm gonna be actually writing down and keeping track of the books I buy, so look out for next month's book haul. Let me know if you like this video, if you're up for more book hauls because they're okay to make like they're fun ish 
like they're cool videos but like I don't know people love them which is why like I want to put more effort into doing them more often so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you super soon bye